Did Rogers go along with the plan right away? No, when he was no, no, he did not. He did not. In fact, he didn't know uh, what was going to be. And until when? Until he went in the ring. <laughs> oh, he thought he was going over that. Yes, time. yes. What do you say? Do you say anything before the bell ring? Yeah, I said, you know, do your best because I'm going to do my best. He first he offered me $500 if I'd come back uh, weekly, and I, I said no, that I wasn't interested in that. I, 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 I was leery uh, because of my past and the things that had happened there. So I said no, that I was happy in Canada and I was going to stay there. Calls me back maybe a few weeks later once we connected, you know, because first it was with Ace Freeman, if you know that name. He was uh, r running the Pittsburgh uh, uh, area mm -hmm. for Vince. And uh, uh, he when he called me again, he went up to 750 a week guarantee, and I said no. And he said to me, well, what will it take? I said, Buddy Rogers, there's going to be all changes, and it's going to be the way I say it. If you can accept that, fine. If not, feel free to go elsewhere. He says, no. He says, what, what is it? I says, there's going to be no more champions. I said, there's going to be the world champion, which is me. I said, there's going to be the tag team champions, which at the time I think were the kangaroos. I says, that's it. He says, Chase, he said, you're taking away the people. I said, no, Ace, that's what killed this territory. And they made him the president, as a matter of fact. But the reality is that it was Vince and Torch who were really gotcha. the, 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 the bosses, the promoters. There was live TV out of Washington, D.C. on Channel 5 here in New York. That was live. And absolutely, Vince was always there. And he was in Baltimore when we did the TV. Uh, Philadelphia, he would be there. Him and Toots Mont would be there. Uh, Bridgeport, Connecticut, mm -hmm. he would be there. Sunnyside, I don't remember if he would make all the Sunnyside shows, but he was very much uh, uh, there, you know. And he did make the TV matches, you know, Vince did. I, uh, uh, in a meeting, told Vince that, that, and Vince says, no, I don't want no outsiders to come in or involved in anything. And I said, well, I said, then Vince, I says, I'll just go on and continue to, to wrestle. Would you have been equal uh, partners with is that the uh, Yeah, and I would have been the two partners, sure. but after I turned it down, then uh, 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 Gino, Mansoon, mm -hmm. and Phil Zacco each got 20%, and Arnold Scolan got the other 10%. Oh. And so they, that's how they're 50. And Vince was 50%. Yeah, there's been a lot of stories about with Thez, which a lot of them are ridiculous and stupid and not true. What Thez wanted, because uh, he knew he's not, but look, Thez it may have been a great, great talent. He was a great talent. And he was a big card maybe before my time in the 30s and the 40s and that. But in, in all honesty, he was no longer. He was no longer. Freddie Blassie wrote in his book that Jilly Rizzo, <laughs> Frank yes. Sinatra's guy, yes. pulled a gun on him in a locker room and you were the one that stepped in and defended him. Is that true? No, he did threaten me. I, I, I didn't pull a gun. No, okay. Fred exaggerated that. Jilly <laughs> uh, got so angry, he said to me, he said, uh, he said, uh, I'm going to take care of this guy. And I said, no, no. I says, I want to take care of him. I said, I'm going to come back with him. I says, and I'm going to take care of him. I says, please. So he was mad as heck. But I explained to Vince. I says, Vince, I said, you gotta, you gotta remember that I, I was wrestling for Baba way before you start booking for Inaki. You also know that I don't like Inaki, that's, that's known. I said, I cannot uh, be that kind of a guy who's gonna quit Baba to go for a, a, whom I respect tremendously, to go for a guy that I don't care for at all. Buddy Rogers and I uh, were enemies from day one. He didn't like me, I didn't like him, okay? Why? I felt when I first met him, I had heard, for, for one thing, I had heard a lot of stories about him. The different guys that he, that he hurt uh, okay. intentionally. Uh, I uh, uh, fell into that uh, trap in uh, Steubenville, Ohio, when uh, Buddy Raj, I was coming off the ropes and he caught me with a body slam. But instead of slamming me in the ring, he slammed me, because we were brothers the rope, he slammed me 
outside the ring, outside, you know, over the top rope, and I scooped him out of that corner, and I brought him up, and I gave him one heck of a body slam, and then I picked him up, and I threw him on my shoulder. I said, buddy, give it up, or I'll break your back, and he gave it up. Uh, did Vince Sr. and Toots know the match was going to be that quick? I don't know. I probably doubt that. I learned that watching Carpentier, watching Rocca, and watching uh, some other people, that they, as talented as they were, and they were great at what they did, but what I also saw was that most of their matches were very similar all the time. And, and I, in my own mind, even though I was no veteran at this time, I saw something wrong with that. I really did. And I picked him up. Of course, he was so light, you know, for me. And I would toss him, you know, halfway across the other side of the ring. And uh, people started hollering, hey, Bruno, don't hurt the old man. Hey, old man, why don't you go home? You're done. You're an old man. You're finished. I heard those, and I, it really hurt me deeply. I thought, my God, this is gorgeous George. This is how it is when you're no longer. When someone like this comes in from the outside, boxer, football player, how smartened up do they have to be beforehand? Take Jersey Joe as a specific example. Was he smartened up? I, I never knew. I, I, a lot of times they would tell him, just say it as you call it, but don't be so quick like to try to disqualify anybody. Go strictly by the, uh, if a guy gets pinned and you have a count of three, you count three. They would tell him, if the guy, you tell him to break once and you count to three and he doesn't break, if he continues that, you disqualify. Oh. But they would tell you, don't, don't allow it to, the count to go beyond three. Okay. You know, and that's how uh, they protected everything at the time. And I called McMahon. And I said to him, I'm going to tell you something. Don't ever, ever have Rogers as the agent any place where I appear. I says, because if you do, I said, there's going to be big problems. I said, big problems. I don't like the guy. And I said, and I don't want him nothing to do with him. Don't ever have him come near me for any reason. I said, I said, where the heck do you get off me wrestling this guy for one hour when I have to come back with Kowalski next month? And he said, well, is that what happened? I said, well, who's calling the shots?